Hey, Uriel Kane here. Welcome to another lesson in how to lose belly fat and get six pack abs. And in today's lesson, we're going to be talking about what's better, ab crunches or full body exercises. And to understand this concept and to understand which is better, we're going to look at two principles. And the first principle comes from physics and it's known as work, right? The concept of work. And work is pretty much F times D, force times distance. The second concept that I want you to understand is that Roughly for every liter of oxygen that you consume, you burn about five calories. Okay, so those are two important things we're going to talk about, and we're going to use two examples to illustrate this. So let's look at let's look at the ball crunch. We're going to do a, this is my uh, my drawing, beautiful artwork of uh, of somebody doing a, a sit up or a crunch on a stability ball, and this could be applied to the floor or anything else, any type of abdominal movement for that matter. So let's look at the first part. We're going to look at the equation work equals force times distance. So when we think about work, think about calories being burned, energy expenditure. Now, I'm going to assume that for this person doing a ball crunch, they're going to cover a distance of only about one foot. So the, the fact that they're kind of extending around the ball and coming up into a somewhat of a seated position, that distance represents one foot in this example. And I'm going to assume that the, the weight that they're moving, being mainly the upper torso from that fulcrum, that hinging point of about the hips or mid-abdominals, is only about 40 pounds. So their upper body, more or less from here on up, is about 40 pounds in this case. So what that means is that, and I'm not using proper units of, of measurement here, so I just want you to know that. So in our example here, the work would be equal to 40 pounds times one foot. And uh, usually we kind of measure this in newtons and meters in physics, but I'm going to kind of make it more easy to understand. Um, so it's 40 pounds, right? That's the, that's the force. That's, that's what the weight they're moving times the distance of one foot. That gives us 40 newton meters. So again, I've just got played around with the units a bit. So basically we're just going to use the example of 40 newton meters as our end result. Now let's look at another example of a full body exercise, right? This is a, an, an abdominal specific movement. Now we look at a clean press. So a clean press basically is a movement where you start the weights down at the floor, you clean them up, to, I mean you basically raise them up to your shoulders and push them above your head. It's an Olympic type movement. I use a lot of them in, in a lot of my workouts. So in this case, what we're doing is we have, uh, let's say two dumbbells that are 25 pounds each, so a total weight of 50 pounds. And this time, the distance that the person is covering is seven feet. So more or less, let's say this is a six foot person, they're pushing the weight above their head, and the total distance from the floor is seven feet. Now this is where things are really interesting. Look at this, 50 pounds times seven feet gives us 350 newton meters, right? Again, that could be calories or whatever you want to call it. It's not really calories, but just a unit to show you the difference. Look at the difference in these two examples. A crunch is giving us the 40, the clean press is giving us 350. Now if these numbers, represent energy expenditure over time, which one would you rather be doing if we're looking at burning maximum calories? And when we're talking about burning maximum calories, we're talking about doing work, right? How much work you do will determine how many calories you burn. So what would you rather do? 350 or 40? Now a lot of people ask me, well how can I get six, how can I get a six pack without the pain, without the hard work? Well you can't, right? That's, I mean, that's, that's the reality, uh, unless you're genetically gifted. You cannot get around working hard in terms of strength training and cardio and eating well with abdominal belts, uh, the sauna belts, you know, little abdominal movements. They just don't work because of this factor, because of the equation. It's basic physics, right? That's how, that's how it works. The second component to this is that for every liter of oxygen you consume, you burn five calories. So in this case, because you're getting a lot of muscle involved, the more muscle that's involved in a movement, the more oxygen is going to be needed to fuel that movement. Therefore, in this type of movement, you're going to be getting a lot more oxygen into your body, which means you're going to be burning more calories during this movement. So you get a benefit of the immediate effect of huffing and puffing, which is a good sign that you're doing this uh, beneficial uh, full body exercise, so you're going to benefit immediately of burning more calories than you were doing ab crunches. And the second thing is because you're getting more muscle involved, you're gaining more strength overall. An abdominal crunch gets nothing. You're training your rectus abdominis and that's it. A little six, eight pack muscle, it has no 
metabolic cost, very, very little energy expenditure. I've seen people in the gym spend hours doing crunches while talking, while reading, that's ridiculous. If you can do that, you are not working out, you are not gonna see results. Conversely, a workout where you cannot talk to somebody else, where you're huffing and puffing, breathing heavily, you know, you know, keeling over almost, that is what's gonna produce results. That's what's gonna burn calories, and that's what's gonna get you strong to fuel your metabolism for the long run. So, can you lose weight just by, can you get a six pack by doing ab crunches? Absolutely not, because you're only training your abdominals, you're gonna get stronger abdominals, but you're not gonna be able to see them because you're not burning the fat. It comes down to full body movements because you're able to produce more work or do more work, which is gonna burn more calories because you're covering a greater distance um, using you know, more force and heavier weights than you would using an abdominal crunch. And you're getting more muscle involved, which burns more calories because you're getting more oxygen into your body. But a bing, but a boom. That is what I have to say about this. So, you know, so many people want to get a quick, a quick fix to getting abs. You can't, right? It requires hard work, diligence, and a commitment to eating well. That's my answer, and I hope you really, really understand this. Really take it to heart and start applying it today. For all these great lessons, on how to burn fats and how to lose belly fat, how to get six pack abs, be sure to come back to the website. It's myfitteru.com forward slash abs. The website is right there. Go there now and you'll get all these 20 lessons absolutely free so that you can start today to really understand how to go about getting that flat stomach that you really want. I'm Uriel Kane and I'll see you in the next lesson.